So let's take a look at how to measure microfarads using the Klein tool CL390. First step, of course, is wherever your capacitors are, you want to make sure the power's off and they discharge. Done that. You can look online how to do that, but basically you'd get turn the power off if they're still in the unit and get an insulated screwdriver and touch it across the leads. Be careful, safety first. Plug your leads in, black on the left, common, red on the right. We're going to turn the CL390 on to this four function setting. You can see there are four settings possible here, four readings possible. And those readings include capacitance, diode testing, ohm testing, and audible continuity. We're going to focus on capacitance testing right here. If you look at this capacitor, it has two terminals. It's rated at 5 microfarads. If you look at this capacitor, this one's rated at 40 microfarads. This one will store more energy by far than this one. Alright, let's test this one. Now that we have selected the four function setting, we'll hit the SEL button. Goes past ohms, and you see on the bottom it says NF nanofarads, which is just a factor of microfarads. So we're going to test this one right here. And you'll see it'll auto. Program 3.5. This is supposed to be 5. This is an old capacitor that's been sitting in the attic, so I wouldn't use this one shot. Let's look at this one. This is the 40. Measure this one and let's put it on there and it'll calibrate auto -lead. It'll calibrate automatically. And you see it's 36.6, should be 40. On some of these capacitors, usually they'll tell you plus or minus the microfarad rating. This one only says 40 microfarads. There's no plus or minus error margin, so I'm not sure what would be in range for that to be a good capacitor. This one, next to the five microfarads, I think it says plus 10% minus 5%. So an acceptable reading, 10% is 0.5. So 5.5 microfarads down to minus 5%, which is 0.25. So down to 4.75. So 5.5 to 4.75 would be a good reading. And both of these are out of norm. So that's it. You measure it. And you read it, and you can see microfarad at the bottom changed from nanofarad.